Hi friends, to install the PDO sample script, visit this URL available at your description, scroll down and download this zip file and save it in your local PC. Inside the zip folder, there is a file sqldump.txt. There are two sample tables, dumps are available. Uh, you can just copy control A, control C, I just copied it. Another file is config.php. Here we will give our uh, database name, username and password. We have given database name here as PDO. We are yet to create this, but we have given the name. Okay. Then your username is here, password is test, but in your case, this database name, username and password, you have to change it. Now you will let us go to our workbench. This is MySQL workbench. Inside this, we will first create a database uh, PDO. So, create database PDO. Now, control plus enter. So, database is created. Now, inside this, you then I will say use database PDO. Sorry, it is use PDO, not database, use PDO enter so okay this now i will paste the code now here what i will do i will just remove this line use pdo let it be there go to the end of this i have pasted that sql dump whatever i have copied from the downloaded zip file i will press control shift enter to execute all the queries now i can refresh this left panel and see my pdo is ta created tables I can expand it. I can see the two sample tables are created. Now my installation is ready. The same exercise you can do it by using PHP MyAdmin also. Copy the SQL dump, create a database PDO, and uh, use the SQL dump to create two sample tables. We'll come back to our editor now. You can see all the things are same. What we can do? We can run once the config file to see if any error is there. If PDO, this is the config file, I am running this, there is no error, so connection everything is ok. Now, we will execute the, our scripts. In your local host, open the index.php file or this link is there, you will get a nice menu at the top. So, this menu is one menu.php file inside your folder and you can see that there is a green font, it will be written, you have PDO for MySQL driver installed. It checks your in driver and gives this green message. If the driver is not there, then you will find a red font and uh, warning you that the PDO driver you need to install. Now, here there are some details of your MySQL database is collected and displayed. You can do one thing, you can go to drop menu and delete table and all records of PDO admin table, delete it, fine. It will give, you will get a message PDO admin table deleted this one also you delete it second one student table there are two sample tables both you have deleted anytime you can go to reinitialize table and data check this check buttons check button there are four steps are involved so all four steps you have to manually sometime you may need two step only and select all and execute once you have deleted all then you can see get four success this based on this outcome even if you are deleted, it will reinstall all the uh, both the tables with the data. You need or otherwise another option is you can go to workbench, use the SQL dump and install those two tables. Now, you can come to list of records. You can see all our records are displaying here. Moment, you can drop again, update it, reins anytime you can you want to come back to the basic stage or initial stage, you can come here and reinitialize. So, we will use each section one by one in different different videos for our learning.